happy weekend everybody it is sunday i hope you guys are doing well wherever you are in the world um yeah i thought i would do a little bit of vlogging today since dennis is out and about running some errands going to the gym i'm i'm here left to my own devices and yeah i'm very very glad for it because it's it's been it's been quite a week i'm not gonna lie um if you follow me on instagram i mentioned that i was pushing my regular shop update which happens usually on a friday or a saturday um i ended up pushing it to this monday which is tomorrow or today whenever you're viewing this I have no idea anyway shop update is happening Monday um, nothing bad happened it's just life life happens it's the holidays and I you know instead of running myself to the ground I was like I'm just gonna have shop update shop update on Monday so that's what we're doing today I sent out the newsletter I updated my shop it's all ready to go locked and loaded and now I I'm going to get some crafting done. Um, I've done quite a bit of, of knitting over the weekend. Um, I also posted this on my Instagram feed, but I'm making quite a bit of progress on my Kala shawl. I don't think I've even mentioned or showed this off on the channel yet, but <laughs> here is where she is. Yeah. I cannot put this thing down. Um, I'll talk more about this in my regular episode that I put out every week. I didn't get to it last week because again, life, life got in the way. So um, my regular normal episode will have to wait till this coming week. But anyway, just to give you a little sneak peek of where we're at. But yes, this is where I am with my Kala shawl, making a lot of progress on it. I mean, can you see? Yeah, it's... It's growing, um, but yeah, I'll talk more about this at length and in detail in the ep in my main episode this coming week. So uh, yeah, but thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying it. So good, so good, guys. Um, but yeah, today I thought I would do something a little bit different, uh, mix things up a little bit, and I don't know if I'm a glutton for punishment, but again, I just feel the urge to do a little sewing. I really want to love sewing, guys. I don't know what it is, but I think. I'm going to tackle quilting again <laughs> because I have this little pre-cut set in my stash. Um, not the, I wouldn't say this is really in my wheelhouse or of style, like something I would normally gravitate towards nowadays, but I like the fact that it was a tiny little, um, what is it? It's a, it's a small charm pack of 40 five by five squares. And I found a really simple pattern online, of course, through Missouri Star Quilt Company that looks very simple, very doable. And I think if I start out with a small project and instead of tackling these ginormous king-sized quilt projects, I have a better, I stand a better chance of actually finishing it. I don't know guys, just, just, I think that's a better course of action. But uh, yeah, I ha again, I have these in my stash. They're Tonga Treats by Timeless Treasures and just a nice little medley of oranges, peaches, turquoises, and blues. Um, while I don't typically gravitate towards blue, I love the contrast between orange and blue and teal. I think it's a very aesthetically pleasing contrast. And yeah, anyway, so I'm gonna try and tackle a small little quilting project today, see how far I get. Um, that is if my cat will let me <laughs> <laughs> I'll give back my my crafting table because because this is what what the situation currently is goose Goose Is there a cat in there? Oh, there she is. There's my goose Can I get my crafting table back? Are you gonna let me are you gonna let me craft on here? You guys she loves this basket. I don't know what it is about it, but she just crawls up in it It doesn't look comfortable at all, but she's like a little kitty pie Seriously, a little cat pie that, yeah, I don't know. I can just stick her in the oven. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna start uh, cutting out some pieces and seeing how far I get, so yay. <laughs> On second thought, I realized that I have this extra uh, pack of 10 inch squares from Art Gallery Fabrics. It's the Her and History um, print line or whatever. I don't know what you call these, but to be honest, I'm more excited about these prints than I am with the Tonga treats. I mean, I feel, I, I do like the Tonga treats, but I feel like this will be more kind of like a scrappy project if anything down the line. Um, whereas this pack, let me, let me unwrap it. This might look familiar because I did start a another quilt using this, this I, don't, I don't think these are called charm packs. I completely forget what these are called. I started a quilt that was just, yeah, a little too big for my britches, if that makes any sense. I think I'm going to abandon that project and just, again, 
stick to small projects for now and see where it gets me. But yeah, I'm very, very excited about this. And if I come away with a small lap quilt of some kind, then I will be very, very happy with that. Um, but yeah, I, I just really love the prints in here. So that is what we're gonna do. The pattern that I'm going to be making, I found on this website actually called craftingtutorials.com. And I guess they slurped a video from Jenny Doan's um, YouTube channel. She runs the Missouri Star Quilt Company and she has a tutorial for the Disappearing Nine Patch Quilt Block tutorial. So this is the project that I'm going to be making. The pattern that she used calls for five inch squares, which the Tonga treats would be perfect for, but um, because they're five inch squares, but because these are 10 inch squares, I'm going to have to quarter each square to get five inch squares out of them. So that is what I'm going to do right now. All right, I have all of my five inch squares cut out. That took a lot less time than I anticipated, so that was relatively painless, yay. Um, so the next step is to assemble all of these squares, mixing and matching them into um, nine block squares. Uh, so that's gonna be another activity in itself. And then once I have a block assembled, I can start sewing them together and creating my quilt blocks. Where are those naughty birdies? Where are those naughty birdies? Are they out there? Mm -hmm. I love you. Ta-da! One square is done. Huzzah! <laughs> so I'm gonna see how many more of these I can make before I start losing my mind. Um, but then I've got to basically quarter this and then reassemble the blocks and sew all those together to create a really cool pattern. So um, I will get to that in a bit, but yay. Uh, yeah, again, I'm just gonna make a couple more uh, nine or nine square blocks. Yes, I think that's what they're called. Nine square blocks, make a couple more of these and then start slicing and dicing them and then piecing them together and see where we get. Okay, so here's what happened. I created my nine square square and then I basically sliced one way down the middle and then slice the other way down the middle. And now I have these really cool little little quilt blocks that I can, you know, mix and match and arrange however I, I want to. So yeah, I'm gonna do that to the other squares that I put together on the floor. I made four of them. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna finish slicing these up and yeah, we'll, we'll see how far I get tonight. <laughs> 